Hey y'all, it's Jazzy Shell and I'm back with another video. So, first, I just want to say thank you for watching the first video. I didn't think that the first video was going to get 90 views, like, at all. That's not um what I expected. Um, And I gained three new subscribers from that video. So, shout out to y'all who subscribed. Um, please don't look at my nails. They're kind of messed up, but, um, and I'm drinking my smoothie. It's so good, y'all. so good. But, yeah, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. I didn't, I got nothing but positivity from it, so I just want to shout out to y'all. And this is going to be part two of my story, so let's get to it. Oh, and before you even think about watching this video, no, go watch the first video because you're not going to know what's going on. So don't even think about clicking this one if you ain't watched the first one. Per, let's get this started. So I really don't remember. I think it was like at the end of April. No, maybe at the beginning of April. So I had went to Kalahari. And after I went to Kalahari, um, that's when everything started to spiral. So, I'm going to just start off from the most bad part. So, my grandma was in the hospital, I think at the end of April, early May, I think. I really don't remember. But, she was in the hospital around that time. Now, my grandma was going through it. She had um, taken some medicine, I think, and um, the medicine that she took uh after that it made her sick and so she had went to the one hospital um garden city hospital if you live in garden city don't ever go to that hospital that hospital is the worst hospital of all hospitals okay don't ever go there but they didn't really take care of my grandma so my grandma ended up moving to beaumont annapolis um and wayne so um Something was wrong, like, something was really wrong. And so, for some reason, her kidneys just started shutting down. Shutting down, okay? Shutting down. And so, woo. And so, I was getting scared because, like, my grandma is the most, most, one of the most important people in my life, okay? And if I lose her, I just don't know what I would do. And at this moment, I just didn't want to lose her. Like, I was thinking of the worst, the absolute worst and, you know, it was scaring my grandma as well because she, my grandma is really healthy, okay? She drinks water on top of water, on top of water, on top of water. And we was thinking like, okay, if she drinking all this water, like why is her kidney shutting down? So while I was staying with um, Brie, while I was staying with Brie, um, I told her that I was visiting my grandma and stuff like that so you know she's telling me you know like i hope your grandma gets better and blah blah blah. so you know everything was good and i would like go stay with my grandma sometimes and then come over there and so it was back and forth excuse me it was a lot of back and forth and so um i'm like really trying to remember because it was a lot going on and um Bree kept telling me, like, you know, it's almost May 1st. You know, we have to renew the lease. And I have to tell, you know, my landlord that, you know, you're staying with me. And so, I have to put you on the lease. So, um, you know, if you don't if you don't put whoever, your roommate or tenant or whatever, on the lease and you're living with somebody, you could possibly get in trouble. You could possibly get evicted, depending on the rules and regulations of the landlord. So, I wasn't trying to get Brie in trouble and I wasn't trying to get in trouble, you know, so I, um, you know, I agree. Like I need to put myself on the lease. Now, if you're staying with somebody, do not put your name on the lease as a lease holder unless you plan on being a lease holder. Now me, I was, um, I was on the lease as a, uh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot the name, but basically it's where you don't nothing come back on you. So if something was to happen to the apartment, the building, the house, whatever, it doesn't come back on you. And that's what I signed my name as. Um, My name was nowhere 
on the lease. Like my name was nowhere on the original lease. I just had to sign a paper saying that I was, uh, um, I can't even think of the name, but that I was that. Okay. Mm -hmm. But, um, my name was not on the original, original lease at all. So everything was good so far. I mean, not with my grandma, but you know, with us. So with my grandma, you know, I'm visiting her or whatever. So weeks went by because my grandma was in the hospital for a very, very long time. She lost a lot of weight. She wasn't eating. Like, it was bad. And comes to find out the medicine that um, she was put on, one of the symptoms was uh, kidney uh, failure, I think, or something about the kidneys. And I think Garden City gave her that medicine or something. Um so yeah, we won't be going to Garden City again ever. So yeah, but yeah, that was the reason. Um and I think May 1st had came around and Bree told me, you know, we gotta go down to the building, you know, you gotta give a money order, you gotta do this, that, and the third. So I did all that. I gave a money order. I signed my name as a, uh, I really can't think of his name, but I signed my name as that, but not a leaseholder. So um, everything was all good, right? So I go to the hospital again and I come back. I really don't remember what day this was. I really don't remember. I don't remember the exact date, but um, when I came home, it was late. Well, not that late, but it was late. Um, Bree was cleaning in the house and, you know, I just came home or whatever. So she said she had to talk to me. So I said, what's up? And she's like, she has all these papers on the table. <clears throat> and I'm just trying to figure out, like, what's going on. And so... um. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. And, you know, she's like, you know, you said you wanted to find a way to save money and be better and stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, like, what, what, where are you going with this, you know? And so she had, first of all, she had a chore list. She had a chore list of what we should do or whatever. I didn't care about that. What I cared about was she created her own lease, y'all. She created her own lease, okay? Created it by herself. Copied it from the original lease and changed some stuff around and put her little information on it and made her own lease. So I'm thinking to myself, like, what? Like, can you even do this? Like, you know, I'm just thinking, like, there's just a lot on my mind, on my plate. Like, it's just a lot. So I'm just trying to make sense of all of it. And so, um, she basically was explaining to me that she wanted me to give her $500 by July 1st. And it was May when she told me this. And I was just like, no. And she was saying like, um, and mind you, her bills, her rent is $699 plus DT, which is $200 and something dollars now. From what I'm making sense of it, I believe she was in debt before. I think she was. And I wasn't about to be responsible for paying for the debt because I didn't put you in the debt. So what am I paying $500 for? Now, she claims that she was going to pay her end of the bargain, which was $500 as well. But how would I know that, you know? And so I just immediately said no. Because I'm just like, how do you expect for me to go from 150 to five hundred dollars you know and that's a that's a huge jump that's a huge jump and i didn't sugarcoat anything like i was just like i'm not going to be able to afford that like i straight up told her i'm not able to afford that i got this to pay for this to pay for this to pay for and this to pay for and it's just like five hundred dollars is just not realistic in my opinion okay it's just not realistic from what situation that i was in and all that other stuff so I asked her, you know, it can't be like 350 maybe, like 375 Like, I was really trying to lower it, and she just kept saying, no, no. 
like you're gonna have to learn how to um do this she said she was gonna charge me for laundry use she said she was gonna charge me for a storage fee because i was holding my tables and chairs because my grandma had gave me a table set and chairs along with um a bed set excuse me a bed set that she had gave me because at first when i was living with brie i didn't have a bed set at all i just had a blow-up mattress that i bought from walmart and i was using the bed frame of her friend until i got my bed set and so as soon as i got the bed set which i asked her permission to bring there and I asked her permission, could I keep the table and chairs there until I got my own place? That was the agreement. But now she wants to charge me a holding fee. Now, when she said that, that kind of pissed me off because it's like you didn't have your friend's stuff there for I don't know how long. And not one time have you charged her a holding fee, you know? And I'm just like, why does it have to change now? Like my tables and chairs is not taking up any room. Like you had... It was taking up room, but it wasn't taking up room to where you couldn't keep nothing down there. And, you know, and you gave me permission for that. And now you want to change it. And then on top of that, you want me to charge, you want to charge me for laundry use? Are you serious? So, you know, and then she was saying that food was going to be included in the $500. And I'm like, no, absolutely not. Like, no, because first of all, first of all. First of all, she was using her mom's food stamps for sometimes to pay for groceries. So her mom was paying for groceries. And I didn't ask her to do that. You know, she offered and she said, no, no, no. Like, you know, it's fine, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I'm not about to pay you crap for food because, for one, you're not about to waste the money that I put into the food, first of all. And... Because she was the type of person to see the date and be like, oh, it's old, throw it out. No, it's not old. That's just the date that you're not supposed to sell it by. Stuff ain't old until it starts stinking, until it's moldy, until it's lumpy, and all that other stuff. Same thing with milk. Like, people just think, like, milk, as soon as the date happened, it's old. It's not old. That's just the date that you're not supposed to sell it by. Milk is not old until it starts smelling nasty, until it's lumpy, until it starts tasting sour. That's when milk is old. Trust me, I'm a part of a family of five, and we know, okay? We know. <laughs> so, um, but I was getting upset. Like, I was getting upset because, you know, I didn't know if my grandma was going to be doing better at this time. And, you know, at this time, we before we even found out what it was, it was still, you know, bad. And that was taking a toll on me. School was taking a toll on me. Work was taking a toll on me. And now this, I was like, you got to be freaking kidding me. And I had to work the next morning. Like, I had to get up at freaking 3 in the morning to go to work and be there by, I think, 5 or four, one of the two, but I had to be at work early. So I was just like, no, like there's no way I'm going to be able to afford this. And she just like, no, well, since you don't want to do that, you're going to have to find some place to stay because this is what it is. And this is how it's going to be. And I'm just like, bro, like you tripping. And so, you know what? I took my stuff and I took myself and I said, I'm going upstairs. I was like, this is too much for me to handle right now. I'm going to just go upstairs, go to sleep and get ready for bed. That's immediately what I told her. And she's like, well, since... She, and first of all, she wanted me to sign this paper. She wanted me to sign this paper, y'all. She wanted me to sign this fake lease that she created. And she wanted me to sign it and date it. So I didn't sign anything. Because for one, you're not about to make me sign nothing. I don't have to sign anything if I don't want to. And it's not even real at that. So... I was just like, no, like I'm not signing nothing. So I went upstairs and she's like, well, since you're not signing anything, you're going to take me to, I'm going to take you to court. Well, you go ahead, you go right ahead and you take me to court over a fake lease that you created, which I feel like is against the law or against some type of law or against some type of rule because you ain't supposed to do that, especially copying from your landlord's lease and then putting your name on it like you created it. I don't think so, but sure, go ahead, take me to court. So... 
when I went upstairs, I was just thinking like the whole, like I could not sleep because I was just blown away by what was going on. And I was just like, bro, like, what am I going to do? Because now I seriously have to get out of here because I'm just like, no, nah, I'm not dealing with this. And at the time, like, I really wasn't cool with my parents and I wasn't trying to come home. Like, I really, really, <laughs> ooh, y'all, I was not trying to come home, okay? I legit was trying to stay out. And, um... I knew that I had too much furniture now to move back with my cousin because when I was with my cousin, it was barely enough room for me alone to live there with the little stuff that I had. So now that I have even more stuff, I couldn't move back with her. And so I had to think of a plan like really, really quick. So I called my parents and I told them what was going on. And they immediately just was like, you know what? If Even if you got to come back here for a couple months, you know, we not about to let you be on the street. And I appreciated them for saying that because I just wasn't trying to come home. Like, I really was trying to prove to my parents that I would have been fine on my own. Like, I really was doing good on my own. I was gone for nine months on my own and I was making it. And so, I mean, it may not have been, you know, the greatest, but I was making some of it. So, I was trying to make something out of nothing. So, yeah, I called them and they was just like, yeah, you going to have to, you know, think of a plan, you know, you know, you got to, you got to get out of there. So, the next morning I get up to go to school, I mean, to work and I worked at the airport. So, I had to get up super early and then, you know, I left and I believe it was Bree's days off day off where she just wasn't supposed to come until later I really don't remember um because at first like all of our me Brie and Kayla all of our schedules was the same at first like when we first started working there when me and Brie first started working there all three of our schedules were the same and then after we had a shift bid that's when everything started changing and all of our schedules weren't the same anymore so um I come to work and I work my shift. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I didn't want to talk to nobody. Like, I just wasn't in the right state of mind. Like, I just, I didn't feel like talking to anybody. And I wasn't the type of person to tell people my business, like, whatsoever, like, at all. And, you know, there was this girl. Um, She will rename... I mean, she will remain nameless. Um, Pepper, get out, get out. Bam. Okay, all right. So, um, there was this lady who came to me, and she um, she came and pulled me aside, and she was just like, "What's going on between you and Bree?" And I looked at her, and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" And she was like. She basically talked about everything that Bree had told me the night before. And I was just like, how do you even know about that? Like, I didn't say anything about it. And she's like, Bree made a, a Facebook post and posted everything on Facebook. And I said, she did what? Like, the one thing that I hate is that people put everything on social media. That's the one thing that I hate. Like, that had nothing to do with nobody else. It was nobody else's business. Like, why are you putting our business out there? And I couldn't see the post because I didn't follow Brie on Facebook. So I couldn't see the post. And I asked the lady to show me the post, but she didn't want to show me because she was like, you know, I don't want to upset you even more. But I should have saw it because I wanted to see everything that she was saying. And it wasn't good. And so I was just like telling her what was going on. Like I was telling her, you know, how everything was and how this literally came out the blue. Like my thing was, if you was going to pull this, why didn't you say this before I put my name on the lease or well, not name on the lease, but before I signed as a, um, as whatever that's called, I forgot, uh, independent or something, I think, or why would you wait? until I paid the money order why would you wait until I did that to say something about this like that was rude and so yeah everybody at my job that you know 
saw the post, they saw it, and it was coming to me, and I didn't know what to say to them, because I was just like, I don't know why she feels like she has to put everything on social media, because it's not right, like, why are you doing that? And so at the time, my mom, she was um having a surgery on her back, and she needed me to come help her throughout that week and stuff, and I was already planning to go over there anyway, so I just took a couple of my clothes, I let Brie know, and I told her, you know, I'm going over my mom's for a couple of days, whatever, because she needs my help, blah, 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 so she was like, okay, that's fine. Now, the whole time, like, Brie's not talking to me. Me and her was barely even talking, and I wasn't trying to make it seem like I had a problem, even though I did, but it was just the simple fact that things were starting to get shady, and it was about to get really, really bad. And I didn't like that at all. And to me, I personally didn't think that that was fair to move it up to $500 out of nowhere. And you know, a lot of people were saying, well, you were only paying her $150 and stuff. I said, she came up with that amount. I never came up with $150. When we had this conversation before, I told her no, that I didn't want to give her $150. And she the one that came up with it because she felt bad that I had school to take care of and stuff. I didn't ask you to feel bad. I didn't ask you to give me the easy way out. I didn't ask for all of that. I simply asked you, what did you want me to pay you? And then when I told you no, you didn't you didn't want to listen to me. So it's like you can't get mad at me for paying the amount that you agreed on. The thing is, the only thing that we should have done is just documented it because that just would have made this so much better. And so people were looking at me wrong because they were just like, you know, well, you know, her bills are high and stuff. I'm like, but if she's in debt, I'm not about to be responsible to pay for that. You know, like that's not on me. And so, you know... I wasn't about to pay majority of it because in my mind, you know, what are, what are you going to pay? How am I going to know that if I pay $500 that you're going to pay $500? And then what is that extra money going to go towards? You know, like that's the thoughts that I was thinking that was coming in my mind because I was just, I was mind blown by all of this. I think I'm going to stop the video here. I think it's just going to be more than four parts. Like... <laughs> Because I'm not trying to have, you know, a 35 minute video each and every time. So I think I'm going to end this video here. Thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for more parts, okay? Because it does get juicy and it does get serious, okay? So, um, but I thank you so much for the support. I really, really, really do. I really do. Like, I didn't expect for a lot of people to watch this video. But I really do appreciate it, y'all. Um, go watch the other video if you haven't. The first video or any of my other videos. Um, and I think that's it. I don't really, ooh, I don't really have anything else to say, but thank y'all so much. Like, thank y'all. Cause y'all making me, y'all making this easier for me. Cause this was so hard for me to open up about. Like this happened last year and I'm just not talking about it a year later, like publicly. And that's big. <laughs> that's really big because i mean this is hard this is really hard especially if you not the type of person for people to like your personal business like know about your personal business so this is very hard but thank you for watching and i'll see y'all next time